Hello, my lovelies. Support for today's episode of Something Scary comes from Lord Jones, makers of the world's finest CBD products. To all the dark darlings who regularly follow me into the shadows, sometimes a little lightness is needed as we enter into the wintry months of the year. When sunlight is at a minimum, sometimes we need something to soothe us during those long nights. That, my friends, is why CBD is all the rage these days, and pioneering brand Lord Jones is considered the gold standard. If you find yourself living a truly tragic tale of dry skin, they've been changing people's lives for years with their premium CBD products like their heavy-duty chill balm. Because, let's face it, after getting spooked by an eerie tale on something scary, you'll definitely need a little chill in your life. I love how it tingles as soon as I put it on my skin. From world-class skincare to tinctures to deliciously decadent gumdrop confections, if you're curious about what CBD can do for you, trust me, you wanna start with the best. Lord Jones is crafted with the highest quality ingredients and premium hemp-derived CBD that's lab-tested for purity, strength, and consistency. Lord Jones products have been featured in the New York Times, People, Vogue, Vanity Fair, and more. And now, they're inviting you to experience the finest CBD products available. So don't be a little monster and buy just any brand of CBD products. Instead, try the very best. Go to lordjones.com slash scary to get 25% off your first order. Go to lordjones.com slash scary for 25% off your first order. lordjones.com slash scary. Hey, I'm Marquia. Want to hear something scary? Frozen Fury. You can only push someone so far until they fight back. But often what they do in retaliation is far worse. Revenge often has chilling consequences. It was a hard winter, made even harder for Daphna and her sister Amira by the relentless bullying they received on their walks to school each day. They were constantly ambushed by bullies who would pelt them with snowballs packed with rocks. Sometimes, they would take their backpacks and empty them into the street. The worst bully was Keith, who made sure to take the girls' lunches each day. They had had enough. They snuck into their grandmother's room and took one of her forbidden books. It was a book that gave them instructions on how to build a mystical guardian, otherwise known as a golem. In ancient times, their Jewish ancestors were said to have constructed golems out of clay or mud for protection. Building a golem was no easy task, but they felt like they had no other option. Because it was winter and the ground was frozen and covered in snow, they had trouble finding clay. So the two decided to mix in some snow and build a giant snowman that would hopefully work as their golem. The sisters walked in a circle around the snowman and chanted the ancient words from their grandmother's book. Then, Amira hoisted Daphna on her shoulders so the girl could etch the secret symbols onto the snowman's forehead. Finally, they held hands and stood before their snowman golem and gave it its mission. Punish all bullies. And then they waited. But nothing happened. Disheartened, they headed home. Daphna and Amira's walk to school the next day was shockingly uneventful. No one bothered them, and in fact, the kids that normally bullied them seemed to avoid the girls completely. That is, until they got to Keith. Keith demanded their lunches, and Daphna and Amira sighed and opened their backpacks, resigned to another day of bullying. Keith then took their lunch bags and emptied them onto the ground. He looked them in the eye as he stomped on their food. Tears welled up in their eyes, and just as Keith began to laugh at them, a snowball the size of a basketball plowed him in the head and knocked him off his feet. The girls turned to see where the snowball had come from and found their snow golem standing not too far behind them, unmoving. Keith was furious. He pushed himself up off the ground and balled his fists. Then he looked around to see who would have dared to do that. He marched past the girls 
and as he neared the snowman, it jerked to life and lifted him off the ground. Daphna begged the golem not to hurt Keith, but Amira <laughs> laughed and cheered as the creature tossed the boy effortlessly across the street and into a snowbank. Keith was shaken as he got back on his feet and ran away. Daphna looked once again at the unmoving snowman and her cheering sister. <laughs> she wondered that she and her sister had gone too far. The next day, Daphna found her sister at lunch, standing by a trash can with a malicious smile on her face. Inside the trash can was a lot of uneaten food and also books. Daphna accused her sister of being a bully just like Keith and his friends. This isn't bullying. This is revenge, Amir exclaimed. On the walk home, none of the bullies would make eye contact with the sisters, including Keith, who ran across the street to avoid them. When Daphna asked Amira about it, she told her not to worry. But just as the girls turned the corner, they found their snowman golem towering over them. The girls took a step back as it raised its monstrous hand and pointed an icy finger at Amira. The snow parted where a mouth would be and let loose in a voice that sounded like gravel scraping against ice. Punish all boys. The girls ran as fast as they could to get away from their monster. But every time they looked back, it was lumbering closer. Then it palmed Amira's head and lifted her off the ground. Daphna knew it was planning to toss her sister like it did Keith, but there was no snowbank to break her fall, only icy roads and jagged trees. Daphna had to act fast. As the lumbering snowman held her sister's head and ready to throw her, Daphna quickly made a snowball and took aim. The snowball smashed into the secret symbols on the golem's forehead, disconnecting the creature from its mystical power. The golem fell into a pile and Amira landed on top, completely unnerved and fully aware of how close she had been to death. As the terrified girl stumbled away, neither noticed that snow landed on the scuffed marks on the golem's forehead. The ancient marks slowly started to reform as it started to take shape again. A golem must complete its purpose once made. Neither Daphna or Amira warranted its attention again, but now, it was loose on the world, and one desire burned within its icy heart. Punish all boys. Thank you so much to all of you that made Something Scary one of your top podcasts for 2020. It looks like a lot of you enjoyed navigating the dark with us this year. But now that you're all caught up, for now, now what? Something fun to also help you decompress, like spending time with your best fiends. The thing I love about Best Fiends is that it's a great mind palette cleanser for me between recording sessions. It's easier to dive back into the dark after I've cleared a few fiends riffic levels. Best Fiends is the infamously impossible to put down puzzle game with over 100 million downloads and counting a free to download mobile game with over 5,000 challenges with more added all the time. Once you download Best Fiends, boredom won't stand a chance. Download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Want more something scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary Podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, this show would not be possible without your support. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings, sweet dreams. <laughs>